Hello everybody, welcome to the Auntie Lister's channel. Candle Day has done come and gone. Not all of them I picked up on Candle Day. I did pick a few up. As you can see through my walkthrough with my last video, I found out in my last video that some of you really like to hear me be a little itchy, but with a bee. It's not always rainbows and puppy dog toes in Annie Lister's world, but I try to stay in puppy world as much as possible and praise Jesus for that. Today, I've got my candle haul. Well, what did everybody think of candle day this year? Well, I think you can kind of already tell what Annie Lister thinks. I already had my panties in a wad on my last video with my walkthrough. Gosh darn it, they asked me for the receipt and they don't put one in the box. And then I start seeing red when they act stupid that I don't have one. Pull it up, we've been here before. So my resolution to that is if there's never a receipt in the box, maybe we'll just keep calling the 800 number until they get tired of resending the receipt to me. Anyways, I could go on and on and on. And that's why you probably haven't seen me back. I didn't want to be a Debbie Downer for Candles Day for the people out there that are enjoying it. Anyway, so let's waste no more time. Let's get into these candles, shall we? We'll just start with the most expensive one. Feliz Navidad. I've had churros before. I like them. They're okay. I like fried ice cream a lot better. Cute little jar, fancy lid. I think I got it for twelve ninety five. This was, this I got this the day that I did my vlogmas video where I should have stayed home, and I definitely should have. I like shopping local. I had a great time at the farmers market, and then I went to Bath and Body Works and then lost my marbles. But I picked up Feliz Navidad. It's okay. It's a nice candle for your bathroom. It doesn't put all out that. It certainly doesn't put out $32.95. I might be able to find one at the dollar store. That throws a little better. Yeah, it, it does have some smell, but I give it a three or a four. It's not $32.95. Crunchy English toffee. It smells good on cold. You would have thought it would have performed a little better. I had English toffee last year from Goose Creek. I think Goose Creek's was a little better. They didn't put one out this year though, but would I repurchase this one? Absolutely not. Too weak. I think it puts out a five. It, put, it gets lost in a bigger room and it it's okay in the bedroom, but it's still, Sometimes on Candle Day, I feel like it's more quantity over quality. I bet I'm not wrong. Happy Hanukkah. I did like this candle. It is so good on cold. It's close to raspberry jam. Might be closer to raspberry tart. We're going to review that one. I wanted to go over some of the candles that were missing. So... Be sure and subscribe to my channel. So I'd like to show you some of those candles that I got a couple years ago that are getting real slim toward the, towards the end. And any listeners need some more. And we're bringing back candles. We're putting out too many weirdo candles. I need my scents back. That's right, Mary Maple Pancakes. And Blueberry Biscotti. Where's a blueberry candle this year? Anyway. Christmas cider, I think it was better in 2020. A lot of things were better in 2020. I've burnt it a few times. It just doesn't have the punch that it had before. Five. I'm telling you, I'm just... Is it me? It is, it, maybe I'm like not smelling as good as I used to. Some of the candles I burn are just fine. And I'm like, wow. But not these. 
I finally have a rack of candles here that I have set up to do a post candle review coming in 2024. Hopefully it won't. Maybe I'll get to those this year. But this is the last one I am getting. I am over you. What did Miss Piggy say? Never. I am a never marry cookie. You can just retire that one. Bring back that, bring back cookies with Santa. At least that had some spice in it. This one was so good, I had to get another one. We'll see that one on the next haul. Any listeners just loves raspberry jam donut. So I would say both of these candles are in line with the raspberry jam donut. So they've got that same, they've got that same jam note. So I love it. And now for the new collection. I was so happy I was only going to participate on Friday. And I only spent $10 of my money because I did the rest of it uh, on Ibotta. But uh, I should have stayed home. All right. See, that's what you get for just not staying focused. It didn't break. White chocolate macadamia. White chocolate macadamia. White chocolate macadamia. If you miss these, do not be upset. Fair. I remember the candle from last year, the caramel frappuccino or whatever it was. Everybody was complaining last year that it was bad. I wish I had to watch somebody else's video, but no, I had to run out and get them before I watched anything. All right, caramel frappuccino. I'll try it in the bathroom and see if I can get anything. It didn't work in my in my bigger room, and it certainly didn't work in my bedroom, which is a medium-sized room, so we well, get one more chance in the bedroom. It, it's, you could smell it a little, but like, it's more of a light source than to scent your home. I don't know. I don't have the other candle out. Yes, I do. Hold, oh, please. Now, I looked at the nose. I said, I'm going to like this. Sweet ruby chocolate. Whipped vanilla cream. And raspberry sprinkles. Just makes me want to hurl. In my opinion, this is Pink Fairy Gumdrop all day long. What? I don't even smell any chocolate in it. I'm about to take. I'm about to take it back. I am so sick of these pink sweet scents. I like pink prosecco frosting. That was kind of smooth. It's just sickeningly sweet, and you know, Annie Lister's likes her buttery, syrupy sweet, not candy sweet. I don't know, to each his own. But I know people love this, so don't get me wrong, sweetheart. If you like Pink Fairy Gumdrop, you should love the Pink Hot Cocoa, but I am not a fan of this. And that Candy Emporium, I think that was the one, if not, it was a green one with pink on it. And I saw that had like the green mint and I thought for a moment, maybe okay, but I smelled it in the store. I'm like, nah, I don't need any more candles. We're trying to get rid of them at this point. All right. I saved the best for last. I didn't have high expectations, but this was the absolute best <laughs> by far. <laughs> this one is the only one that could fill my bigger room. Oh, by the way, they all had these thin little wicks that are just m mushrooming to no end. So be sure and keep those wicks trimmed because these things seem to be going awful quickly. 
Well, I guess I'm burning them more. I am burning them more because I'm getting tired of walking them to and fro all over the house. It's ridiculous. So, as I mentioned before, with brioche French toast, it was giving me peanut butter brittle vibes. It really, really was. For a few minutes there, that's what I thought it was burning. It's just not as strong. If this is too strong for you, which this is one, in my opinion, this is one of their strongest candles that they have. The peanut butter brittle. Oh gosh, this one's so good. I know, it's too late. Well, say any lessers, of course, if I'm talking about a candle, it's not there anymore. But I'm not going to run out and pay first. I'm not going to run out and pay full price. I don't know. I got to wait till they get cheap. Any lesser pay for this with their own money. I don't get nothing from YouTube other than aggravation. Put me in the algorithm. Come on. I like Al Gore. I teach him to dance. Else pick that up? Or is it just me? So that was just round one. I've got another. I've got my online order that will should be here Friday if nothing comes up. I'm hoping to go ahead and film that and get that up for this week. You know, I always love it when you talk to me in the comments, anyways. Thank you so much when I don't pose for those of you that come looking for me. I love that. That makes me feel so loved. Like they say, Eddie listeners, where are you? So it's like, somebody cares about me. I love that to death. And I love her so very much. So if you enjoyed today's video, and you're kind of a back rower that doesn't talk to any listeners much, if it can, help Al Gore in his rhythm. He needs to be dancing more on any listeners' channel. Give me a thumbs up. If nothing else, if you can just leave me an emoji, even if you don't like me, leave, leave a like mad emoji. Maybe I shouldn't have deleted my trolls. At least they were talking to me. I don't know what a gypsy queen is, but I've never been called that. And I've been called quite a few things. <laughs> no one's told you today that they love you. Hey, listeners, loves you so, so much. You have a father up there that loves you even more. You guys take care. I hope to see you this weekend. If not, hopefully within one week. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thanks so much for watching. When you come back real soon, you don't ever visit any.